Tiffany the lady golf teacher here and a welcome today for my tip for this week. I want to talk to you about hitting the ball over the bunker um, and taking the, the bunker actually out of play. So what happens when we get closer to the green and as you can see there's a bunker here just in front of the green is that we start to get really worked up about oh my god I've got to hit the ball over the bunker and you know your brain starts going into like a freakish mode and you don't know what you're doing and, and you're basically just trying to get the ball over the bunker somehow right? which I'll demonstrate. This is what usually happens, you'll get, oh God, and you, you're going through all this stuff, oh, I've got to get this ball over the bunker, and oh, you know, and you're freaking out, and you go up to hit your shot, and then you freak out so much, you duff it, right? And it ends up into the bunker. And then you're like, oh my God, I've got to do another shot. And you know, you, your head's spinning, you know, and it's hard enough when you're playing competition, let alone having to perform the shots that you want. So what I would suggest to you is when you are getting close to the green and you've got to actually hit the ball over the bunker, let's take the bunker out of play. And what I mean by that is get the ball so that the ball goes pretty much on the green and lands right near the green so that the, the bunker doesn't even come into play. It's not about just getting the ball just over the bunker and then you'll be safe. It's actually completely taking the bunker out of play. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that we take the bunker out of play in this shot, okay? So always make sure when you're going to play your shots that you always want to do some practice swings behind so you get the kind of feel that you want in your shot and then excuse my back but what we're going to do is we're going to walk up to the ball and we're going to play the shot that we want and we're going to completely take the bunker out of play okay we're not going to be too concerned where it's actually going to land but we're going to take the bunker out of play so that we don't have to freak out about it here we go okay all right so as you can see what I've done is I've taken a good length of swing and I've completely taken the bunker out of play, so I'm not freaking out about, oh my god, I've got to get the ball over the bunker. Now because the ball's gone over and it's landed on the green, it's just run on the other side of the, of the green there, so all I have to do is putt the ball back. But what it actually does, it's knocking a shot off, basically, because if you go into the bunker, then you've got to try and get the ball out of the bunker, and if you're not really good at bunker shots, it's going to do your head in. And you're going to be there trying to hit balls, trying to hit balls, trying to hit balls out of the bunker. Could be two, could be three, could be four shots later and you've got the ball out of the bunker. Now by taking it actually out of play and you've hit it out onto the green, you know you might only have two putts at the most to do so that you've actually saved yourself at least one shot. Okay, so it'll only take you two putts rather than maybe four swings out of the bunker onto the green maybe another two putts six shots if we hit it over that's one maybe two putts that's three shots so basically you could have saved yourself at least three shots and that's going to be a, a big plus to you when you're out on the course hope you enjoyed that uh, tip for this week enjoy go and practice it go out on the practice uh, chipping range and chip the balls over the bunker and you know, practice that hitting it onto the green so you're completely taking it out of play. And don't stress out too much about your handicap, it's just making sure that you're getting some confidence with your shots. Enjoy and leave a comment below, let me know how you go and I'll see you soon.